All right, uh, I'm quite excited for this one. And in this video, I'm going to uh, introduce you one how Astro Print Box, uh, which is uh, an integration between one how 3D printer company and uh, uh, Astro Print. And uh, I, I try to remember as many things as possible to tell you on this video. But if I don't, please forgive me because this box is really featured. And uh, Let's get it started. And for that, you need to power up the box first. And you need a USB cable. And one here on the printer. And the other one, you need to plug it here. Just any of them. And then you just turn on the box. Just wait for it to reboot. If you're rebooting it for the first time, it makes it may take a, a bit of time. We'll just be patient and I'm I'm trying to do it on uh, my Duplicator Plus, which, which actually is my Duplicator Plus Mark II, but this is truly compatible with uh, any kind of 3D printers. Uh, and uh, so here you can uh, choose the language. I'm going for English, and then here you can just follow up with the uh, steps, uh, begin setup. And uh, yeah, you can name your box whatever you want. Um, I, I name myself uh, mine uh, as like one whole box. And then, and here uh, you can connect your box to the Wi Fi. So I try to connect it to the Wi Fi and put my password here. Uh, here is. And uh, uh, you're connected to the uh, Wi-Fi now and uh, go for the next step. And I'm going to uh, sign into my account actually. So I try to put my email and account. Okay. And I put my password here. And it goes for uh, login error. I think I put the wrong one. Maybe my password here. Trying again. And yeah, now I just log in into my account and then uh, again press on next. And as you see, uh, if you are connected to the printer, uh, the uh, icon you can see right here is green, so it says it's connected. And uh, if uh, now this is Marlin based uh, firmware, and then for example, if you switch to another one, uh, for example, this one it says uh, no connected. So you need to make sure about your firmware and set it on. And if you are choosing it the right one, which is not this one also, then uh, G-code morning repeat here, uh, and then you should be connected now.
this is definitely not this one but just trying again and I seen my butt rate I need to change it actually yeah now I'm connected I was I, I forgot to tell you about this and you need to uh, set your baud rate actually here so don't forget about this and uh, then you can press on next here and one important thing is uh, before you get into boxes you need to set your uh, movement exits right here you know for example uh, on my duplicator uh, i3 plus uh, for example here uh, x x movement so here it uh, my uh, head moves not bad so I just switch it to the uh, other side so my on my duplicator uh, uh, i3 plus uh, the head moves on the x axis and for y it's like bad moves then I just this right one so I don't need if it's my y uh, if it's my y uh, axis moves then I put it on the uh, bed moves but here is the right one so I put it right here and Z movement is uh, also the head moves then if it's just going down and up so it's like this side but on my Z axis also my head moves and then here you can set the temperature uh, max nozzle I don't know it's just maybe a bit too high 220 I set it on and for my print bed I set it on for example 60 and I have one extruder so that's fine then I go for next and then I start and it's ready for printing actually so uh, one thing you need to uh, make sure is these three icons here and if you're connected to the Wi-Fi uh, this should be green if you're connected to printer this one also should be cre uh, green and uh, this is your uh, account actually so just make sure uh, three of these are green and if it's not then you have to go and find uh, where the issue is coming from uh, whether your Wi-Fi has an issue or you want to change it to another one another network uh, and this is your uh, Astro uh, your one how Astro uh, account so and you have many features here uh, this is where you go for print and uh, here is utilities you can move the exes I believe yes as you can see up down and uh, I'm trying to see you can preheat the printer right here just click on it and it just goes for hitting the extruder and this one is for the bed when you hit the printer, it starts to hit the printer, and uh, uh, many other features. You can control the fan here uh, during the printing, and uh, uh, one interesting thing is here you can uh, connect to uh, Thingiverse and My Mini Factory. You can choose a model and uh, any kind. Uh, then, for example, just this one. I don't know and then you can directly send the model from here to the printer but I, unfortunately I don't have a good uh, network here it may, may give me uh, some error and here I have a duplicator 3 and it may give me some error but the thing is uh, you can go to those uh, 3D modeling platforms and choose a model and uh, then it uh, starts to uh, slicing on the cloud and then you can send it to printer and let's see whether it works or not but if, if it doesn't if it doesn't it's because I don't have a good network here so it gives me some information about the time about the size and uh, let's see it's downloading start printing yes 
as you can see now uh, it tells you about how many layers uh, is printed or how many layers we have the time and uh, here you can again set the temperature for the print bed and the extruder and here are some utilities you can uh, actually uh, control the temperature during the printing you can control the fan you can set the print speed here you can set the print speed here and uh, many other features well I don't have a filament now just trying to show you the box and as you can see here it says it's heating up I'm just waiting for it to start. I see here actually my temperature is too high. I don't know why, but yes. And so I just stopped the printing for now. Uh, it may take a bit of time. But uh, after a while, it starts printing, and uh, yes, and let's go back here. And if your print fails, or for whatever it is in bad quality, or not enough material, you can just uh, click on it. For example, I just click on this and tell the reason, and uh, Let's see what we have here. You can log out your account, and uh, here you can shut down the box. And uh, here on the print, you have some other options: cloud, internal, and external. You can uh, definitely uh, slice your model and put it on the USB flash memory and just insert it here, and then uh, again go for a print. And here I told you, like we have apps. Here are utilities. Uh, and on my setting, uh, you have something general. You can change the language. You can do the screen saver. And on the software, you can do the updates. Sometimes you have some updates, so you can check whether there is a new update or not. And then 3D printer again. You can check for the connection and make sure you are connected to the box. And here is my account. And then network. You can do that. And one thing, I don't have a camera here. Uh, the fun part is you can uh, connect a camera to the box and control. Uh, well, actually, you can monitor the printer. And uh, then you can connect to your phone. There is an app for it. You can, whether on Android or iOS, you can download the app. And you can monitor your printer wherever you are. And uh, But I don't have a camera. Uh, I'm trying to do the next video and tell you how you can connect the camera to your box and monitor the printer. Uh, that's almost uh, what I can tell you for now. And uh, that's fun. And thanks for watching.